Good morning. It is Tuesday and it is a beautiful sunny morning, as you can probably see from this little bit of sunlight sitting on my shoulder. It is a gorgeous morning and oh, I just love it when the sun's shining. It just puts you in a good mood, doesn't it? Um, we have got quite a bit going on at the house today. Um, well, I say at the house, outside the house. We had the outside rendered a couple of weeks ago, which if you don't know what that means, it's basically just like plastered on the outside it's like you know when they yeah basically plastered <laughs> and today it's being painted white Lou's doing it and so is um Lou's brothers no Lou's sister's girl blimey Lou's sister's boyfriend as well is here as well um so they're both painting outside today so hopefully it should make a big difference and then we're gonna have the middle of the house cladded as well i'll show you in a bit um but yeah that's being done today and i have also got a delivery coming today i have ordered three stools for the island in the kitchen um so that's very exciting because we've been sitting on wooden chairs eating dinner for the past month um so it'd be nice to have a proper seat so yeah, i thought i'd just do like a chilled kind of home vlog few bits and bobs going on and then sort of see where the day takes us so this is what the back of the house looks like before it's painted um i'll try and insert some clips or like a picture of what it looked like when we got it at the back of the house um but yeah i thought i'd just show you it before it's painted this is how the house looked when we first bought it so quite a difference um on the right hand side that was the garage and then in the middle it was kind of like well, my nan and granddad used it as a utility room, but it was sort of just like a little kind of lean-to bit. And then those patio doors were the doors to their spare bedroom. And then that long window was their bedroom. Where's your ladder? Right there. I'll go and grab it. These are our painters for the day. <laughs> oh, blimey. So yeah, you can see that we've already got a section done over here. The delivery man has just been and there are three stall shaped boxes in the hallway. So I'm gonna take them through to the kitchen and unbox them. Exciting. I mean, I'm guessing that they're the stalls. They couldn't be more stall shaped boxes if they tried, could they? <laughs> oh yeah, and they do actually say natural linen bar stall. Okay, so I've just finished unboxing the stalls, as you can see from the carnage in the background. <laughs> um, and I'm so pleased with them. I think they are absolutely perfect for this kitchen. In fact, let me just show you from the other angle because they're looking a little bit dark from over there. Yeah, that's better. Um, but yeah, they are absolutely the perfect color. I knew I didn't want gray. They're called natural linen, um, but I wanted something a little bit more neutral, a little bit more kind of like warm and um, yeah, absolutely love the fabric. They've even got little silver bits in it that match the chrome knobs and handles. Um, and also I knew I wanted ones with black legs as well because I want to tie some more black accents into this side of the room. And I will leave them linked below if you are looking for something similar because they were really affordable. And I actually ended up buying them from a place called Sue Rider which is basically a charity who help people suffering with life-threatening illnesses. They also offer support for those who have lost a loved one and they have like an online community for support as well. Um, so yeah, it just sounds like an amazing charity. The stalls are brand new, as you can see, um, but all the profits made go towards supporting the charity. So yeah, this obviously isn't an ad or anything, but I am just chuffed with the stalls and the fact that it's a good cause is even better. Oh, do you want to come in and have a little look? Oh, look at them. 
Superb. What do you think? Yeah, really nice. And a lolly. Nice. Nice? I'm going to get too close, I'm covered in paint, but I'll look at my eyes. Look nice, don't they? Finish it off nicely. Yeah. Happy? Did you check the height? Yeah, I've sat in them. <laughs> you were the leg up to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? I was thinking, no, you know, we're not going to get our knees. No, I've sat in them. Oh, nice. Look, watch. Oh, nice. What do you think, Johan? Do you like them? Do you approve? Yeah, much fun. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Any other feedback? <laughs> I'm just going to film you. Um... <laughs> do you want to try them as well, Johan? Uh, you... <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, come on. Sound some chairs at the time. You really probably up there in the top three. Top three really chairs of all time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got a list. Uh, <laughs> I've got a list, so I'll add these in. Have you already liked them as well? Huh? Are you already liking them as well? Yeah, it is. Uh, comfy. Car looks nice, doesn't it? Do you feel like that should have been black? No. That, tri that bit around the top? Just because there's no gutter on it. Oh, will there be? Uh, that's there is, what. There is not going to be no gutter. Oh, there's not going to be a gutter in there. Yeah. Looks nice, doesn't it? It's changed it so much. So you think it needs one more coat? Yeah, it looks a little bit. Well, obviously, you'll see more when it's dry, but like, like you said, when you're laying a patio and you're doing all the gardening, you're probably going to get it a little bit yeah, messed course. up. So just in summer, just as the summer hits, when it's a nice bit of weather, we'll smash another coat on it. And then we need a little a light to go there and there, don't we? We want to get a nice sort of black and glass light either side of the doors. Nice patio in there. Yeah. Job done. Wonderful stuff. You've done a good job. In the beginning, it was like we were good to each other. Yes, we. Good morning. It is Saturday and it is a beautiful morning. It's a lovely, crisp, cold autumnal morning with lots of orange leaves on the trees um, and a lot of background noise. Oh, I'm so sick of noise. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but Lou and his dad are putting a gate up outside the side of our house this morning. Um, so there's a lot of drilling going on. So if you hear a bit of background noise, that's what it is. Anyway, I thought I would continue vlogging today because I went to London on Thursday and I had a lovely day. I had some meetings, went for a lovely lunch, went to, had a Kiehl's facial in Selfridges, which I'll tell you about later, um, and did a bit of shopping in Selfridges and I vlogged it. And then yesterday went to edit the video and my bloody memory card snapped the end of it completely snapped off so i was rather pissed off <laughs> to say the least sorry excuse my language um but yeah so that's that's that video out of the window so i thought well what i'd do is vlog a bit today i have had quite a few packages that arrived yesterday that i've left unopened that i'm going to open today one very exciting one um and i bought a few things when i was in london from mango so i thought i'd show you that and kind of just do a little bit of hopefully a bit of a kind of vlogging today that will finish off the video ready to go up tomorrow might not be the best but hopefully it's a good enough replacement <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, look, I don't know why I look like I've got so much makeup on today. I, I don't have any more than normal, but I think it's the lighting. It's making my hair look very black and my eyes look very black too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and grab the packages and sit on one of my new stools and show you some of the bits. Oh, and also Lou's dad is going to be putting two doors up in that big space there. We've got some glass double doors that are going there. 
hopefully today. Um, so that will make a big difference as well. So if that is done today, then I will show you that as well. Um, but I'm gonna get into some of these boxes. I'm gonna start off with a glossy box because it's always nice to see what's in there, isn't it? Oh, by the way, some of these items are gifted as well. Just a little disclaimer there. Um, but this is this month's glossy box and that picture looks so cozy. Winter warmers. Sounds lovely. Get your skin glow ready. Oh, okay, so the first thing is a pre-glow up mist. So I don't know if that's a pre, spray the mist before or after makeup. Nice, I like the sound of that. That's by Candy Cosmetics. There is a leave-on winter mud mask. Definitely skin needs that at the moment. Oh, a Rituals Soothing Hand Balm. Lovely. Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. And then there is a little mini Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Never used that brand before, but it looks like medicinal, doesn't it? It looks like it's kind of like a, I don't know, yeah, Cetaphil. I don't know if that's like a medicinal one. Then there is a Nourishing Shine Hair Oil Mask in there. And what's this? A tea bag. A tea bag. <laughs> a fruit tea bag. Lovely. I might have that this morning actually. I might do that in a minute. Oh, there's another tea bag on the floor. I'm not going to get down and get it, but it's another one like that. I, sh I thought I'd heard something drop down there. So that is this month's glossy box. I love glossy box. They send it to me every month, which is a wonderful treat. And I always discover new products and I just, yeah, I love it. I think it's like under 10 pounds a month. Um, so I don't think it's too bad. Ooh, something from Dermalogica. Love Dermalogica. Mmm, oh, it smells nice already. How nice do they look? It's a conditioning body wash and a body hydrating cream. I'm pretty sure these are really new releases and I think they've got out like a um, oil as well. Um, I did get a email about them. Body hydrating cream, body conditioning wash there, eucalyptus and lavender flavor. So I bet they smell like a spa. Lovely. Oh, honestly, my poor skin needs so much hydrating at the moment. So that is delightful. Next up is a fragile one. I'm not even sure what's in this. I might need a knife to get into it. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab some scissors. <laughs> no, it's fine. I can keep stopping in between, but I'm just like, and I start talking, and I'm like, oh, I'm, my chair's vibrating. And you didn't help with my tripod legs, mate. Oh, oh mate, it's taken me ages to try and straighten them out. <laughs> I've got like a little mini tripod with bendy legs on it, and you can kind of like, if you want to attach it, so you can sort of twist it round it. Um, but Lou decided the other day that he wanted to like twirl them all up and make a funny shape out of it and was like, oh, look what I've done to your little tripod. I was like, oh, and then this morning when I went to use it, I spent ages trying to straighten them out again. Not ideal. And um, anyway, this is a very, very exciting, this is so exciting. It is a gin advent calendar 
and I got one of these last year sent to me. I feel like I must go on about gin quite a lot so people know that I like gin. <laughs> um, and I got one of these last year and it wasn't the same as this actually. It was a bit, it looked different. So I think it's the same, yeah, it's Drinks by the Dram. And this one is called That Boutique Gin Company. And there are 24 double gin and tonics in each door and they're all different flavors. And honestly, it was just wonderful last year. It made my December just delightful. So I am so excited that I've got this this year. I have actually received some um, amazing advent calendars. So if you do want to see a little video of me opening some of them, it does spoil the surprise a little bit, but it's, um, yeah, if you do want to see a video of that, then let me know and I'll film like another I did one last year, like a luxury advent calendars video. Um, but yeah, I am so excited to start that in December. I love gin, in case you didn't know. Okay, so I've just got a couple more bits to open, and then the exciting one, which is, I'm going to save that till last. So, this is ripped. Hope nothing's fallen out. Look, it looks like someone's munched at it. <laughs> Charlotte, thank you so much for coming to us to experience our Selfridges facial. Please find your personalised Kiehl's regime enclosed. Love, Louisa. Oh. Okay, so I mentioned it earlier, but on Thursday I went to London, I went to Selfridges. I did put a few pictures on my Instagram, um, but basically they do a facial, Kiehl's do like a facial one week a month and they've got like a little room in Selfridges and the facial cost 50 pounds. I was invited down to experience it very gratefully. Um, and it cost 50 pounds, but then that is then redeemable off of two, well, it's about the same price as two items. So that's redeemable off any Kiehl's products that are used on you during the facial. So actually if you use Kiehl's, Kiehl's anyway, then I think it's such a good deal because you're basically getting a free, a free facial, a free 45 minute facial. Um, anyway, I loved it and it looks like they have sent me my entire facial regime. So I will just, no it's fine. Um, so, I've got a cleansing, midnight recovery cleansing oil, a treatment essence, which is a bit, apparently it's a bit like pixie glow tonic. It's like a bit of a liquid exfoliating. Um, this is open, so hopefully it hasn't leaked. Uh, facial cleanser, Centella facial cleanser, a Factor 50, because apparently I should be using that every day and sometimes I forget. And then there is a serum. Oh my God, how lucky am I? Um, oh, I can hear you texting on this thing. I oh, know it's fine, I was just like, what's that noise? It's tapping in the corner. Just yeah. You want me to make you some breakfast? Salt, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll quickly finish this and I'll make you some breakfast. And then there's an avocado face mask, that's what they used on me during the facial. And well, my skin felt amazing afterwards. Concentra oh, this is the vitamin C she was saying. This is like intense vitamin C, um, which apparently is really, really good for your skin, especially this time of year. A pineapple papaya facial scrub. Oh my God, how lucky do I feel right now? A youth dose eye cream. My tired eyes need that at the moment. A little dose of youth. And then last but not least, a super multi-corrective cream. Thank you very much very much Kiehl's. I'm going to pop all those back in there. And then last but not least, and I am so excited to open this. I'll show you. I don't know if you'll know what it is from that, but this arrived yesterday and I used everything in my power to not open it because I wanted to vlog it. And also I was very emotional yesterday. I thought if I open it now, I'm just going to cry. You know some days that anything sets you off. I am, um, yeah. Got a little bit, a little bit vulnerable yesterday, let's say. <laughs> um, but this is so very exciting. 
Okay, so I'm gonna read the little note out first. You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. All right. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor too. I mean, I like to think so. What you've accomplished can be taken away from, can't, can't be taken away from you. I was thinking, can be taken? <laughs> and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know that you don't do this for rewards, you do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience, who cares? Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Thanks, YouTube. And this is my silver plaque of congratulations. I forgot what it's called. Silver play button, is it called? Anyway, this is gonna take pride of, pride of place. Would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Presented to Model Mouth for, for passing 100,000 subscribers, YouTube. I know this probably won't seem a lot to some people, but for me, a lot more work goes into YouTube than you might think. And to get to 100,000 subscribers is a massive accomplishment for me. So I'm so excited to have got there. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. And then I'm gonna make Louis Louis some breakfast because he is going to the football today and he always needs a big breakfast before he goes. And then I will show you what I got from Mango as well before I finish the video. And then just in case you were wondering, this is what was in the long box that I grabbed. And these are just some extra handles for our doors that we've been waiting for. They had sold out, so we were waiting for them to be delivered for the past few weeks. And they are just the same as what we've already got, just a simple, hang on, let me take the plastic off. So yeah, they're just a really simple polished chrome handle and we've just got the same ones on all the doors throughout the house. So there's a few more boxes in there as well. By the way, sorry about my hair today. It's very much in need of a wash and a brush, really. <laughs> um, but this is my little mango bag. I didn't get much. I got three things from there. So I thought I'd just finish off and show you what I got from mango. I was going to do a bit of a house updated house tour but i'm going to do that in the next video i think because we've got quite a lot of stuff in each room where we've been moving stuff around um the rooms have changed so like my dressing room we've finished painting and it's pretty much nearly done but i'm going to wait and show you in the next video because yeah there's just loads of crap in there at the moment basically and it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Um, so the first thing that i got from mango we're starting the most boring thing and it is just a plain white t-shirt. I didn't actually try this on, but it was only 6 99 and I thought that was blooming good. And it's 100% organic cotton. And I got it in a size large because I feel like the large looked quite small. It's got rolled up sleeves and um, you got... All right, have a lovely day. <laughs> Bye. 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 Uh, yeah, that was the first thing I bought. Just a plain white t-shirt, 100% organic cotton, rolled up sleeves, and I got it in a large. But this one did have makeup around the collar, which wasn't my makeup, but I'm sure that will come off. Um, and then the next thing I bought is this black bag. If I can get it out, tangled in my headphones. Um, yeah, next thing I bought is this black bag. I thought it was like a really cool sort of Dior dupe. It's got like the, it looks like it's got the CD. Um, or even a bit of a Gucci dupe, if not. And yeah, I thought it looked a little bit designer and I thought it was quite nice and it was only 35 pounds. That was the next thing I bought. It just caught my eye as soon as I walked in and I thought, yeah, 
I'll get that. And then inside it's got a pocket there at the front and then a big pocket there. And then my favorite thing that I bought, and this is the reason I actually went into Mango because I spotted these online and I thought they looked really cool. And they are these lovely black leather ankle boots. And I was a bit unsure about the white laces when I saw it online. I thought, mm, are they gonna be a bit too OTT with every outfit? But do not fear because they come with a spare pair of black laces. Amazing. So I thought actually, if I want to kind of have the white laces and be a bit extra, I can. And then when I'm bored of the white laces, I can change them to black and just have a simple pair of black lace up ankle boots. And I like the fact they've got the fabric bit around the top as well, so they'd be nice and comfy on the ankle. And I got them in a size four and they are pretty true to size. Maybe they run a little bit big. Um, so I will leave them linked below. I'll leave all three of these bits linked below if you like any one of them. But yeah, they were the three things that I picked up from Mango when I was in London. And I am going to end, the, end this video here. Apologies if it did seem a little bit of a half-hearted video, um, but I have got so much content planned for the next few weeks. With Black Friday coming up, I've got tons coming up, so it will be better. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, probably didn't, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I don't know why I'm holding this like this. Hello. Um, and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video and I hope you have a lovely Sunday and a lovely week and um, are getting in the festive spirit. When do we put our trees up? Let me know when it's too soon to put your tree up. Um, but yeah, goodbye.